Hi, I'm Johnny Jemison, and I'm a visual storyteller. I'm working on drawing my first book right now, and we're going to walk through some of the steps that it takes to draw one of the pages. Yeah, I usually describe this story as J.R.R. Tolkien by way of Calvin and Hobbes. It's a big epic fantasy, but there's a lot of silliness and humor to it as well. This particular scene is a marching scene, and before we get into the marching soldiers talking to one another, I just needed an establishing shot to get an idea of the scale of the army as they march through the land. One of the keys to the stories that I love is each scene sets up an idea and concludes that idea. So there's one specific thing that that scene is about, and by the end of that scene, that thought has been concluded, but it's opened an even bigger door that keeps you interested in what's gonna happen next. One of the major keys to drawing comics is staging out your panels because you'll find that some comics are just nonstop action, one page after another, but then others take their time and break down the action very slowly and they're able to get a little bit more tension or a little bit more humor. The really effective ones are able to speed up and slow down and if you can get that pacing down it creates a very effective comic story. Penciling is the really fun part because you get to just make stuff. The most important part of penciling is when you're not penciling, take things in and look at the way that other artists work. You know, you'll take your sketchbook outside and draw the things you see and all the things that you're drawing, you have a vocabulary that you've built just from looking at the things around you, looking at the way different cartoonists draw, different visual artists in general. Inking is the tricky part because it seems so simple. Since I tend to work more in black and white, I focus a lot on line and silhouette. I'll have a lot of areas filled in with black. I'll do a little hatching and stippling to indicate shadows and stuff. And you're never quite sure if your inks are finished. You just try to stop inking before it becomes cluttered. It's addictive. <laughs> a lot of the other cartoonists that I follow say the same thing, that they started drawing one webcomic and that wasn't enough, so they started drawing two webcomics and then they wound up in the graphic novel industry and find that the more you do it, the more, the more you want it. 